Welcome back. This is Dredis with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're in week 12 of this fantastic season that we're having so far. 10 and 0 at the moment. And uh, very much appreciate you all being part of the ride right here. We're chopping the AFC East this week. We're going to be playing the New England Patriots. And uh, there's not much to do, to be honest. We've got players ready to negotiate. Going to check that out immediately. Uh, Karen Williams, not going to be giving him a new deal right now. Morgan Fox, same thing. Siaki Ike, I'm also thinking of really holding off on him. Uh, he does want a one-year deal. I could give him, you know, I could give him a deal that is uh, very long-term. And by doing that, you know, really push down the, the, the cap hit, to put it that way. But to be honest, I just really don't feel like it. You know, 80 rated, 25. He's not bad, probably. But we can get D tackles out of the draft. Um, and I'd rather bolster the squad that way. I have two great starters. Um, and uh, those are the ones that I'm going to be working with. If I do change my mind towards the end of the season, then uh, yeah, I might go back on what I said just now. But for the moment, I'm not going to be re signing anyone anymore. I uh, really don't feel like that is necessary. Uh, college players, uh, nothing to do here. Uh, we're going to be diving straight into the New England Patriots roster. All right, facing us is quarterback Mac Jones, 27 years old, 94 overall, start of trade. Uh, ratings, of course, looking good. Break sack is horrible, but he's just not that type of uh, quarterback. You know, he's just... Uh, He's a pocket quarterback, and to be honest, looking back at the NFL season uh, 2022, all those dual threat quarterbacks are really, really having troubles right now. Being injured, uh, getting concussions, and that's just because the pocket protects them, right? And if they get hit, they're not used to getting hit, then that really causes problems. So Mac Jones going strong here, Alabama prospect, very nice. The DJ Uigalalai is behind him, uh, 24 years old, iterated, definitely no competition at any point. Leary, I'm not even going to mention him. Halfback, Damon Harris, 96 rated, Raheem Sanders behind him, and then Roderick Robinson, the second. Uh, Damon Harris, 29, started freight, 96 rated, looking really good, very solid running back. Um, next up, fullback, Jason Cabinda, just a decent fullback to have. What about the wide receivers? We've got Tyler Boyd, formerly with the Cincinnati Bengals, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, joined uh, the Patriots in 2024. Since then, he's been here. Xavier Worthy is here. 23 years old, 87, former Texas Longhorn, and a really, really good wide receiver. Good prospect right there. He's 23, 87 rated with a normal death trait, which is going to slow his progress a little bit, but overall, very good uh, wide receiver one and two then we've got alec pierce who's just super solid we've got uh, brandon bellamy and marcus jackson and with that i'm going to conclude the analysis of the wide receiver room tight end hunter henry still going strong the veteran here 31 years old 90 overall super solid tight end to have with a little bit more development he could be way higher but 90 rated Definitely not bad. Riley Williams, a rookie, 76 rated with a hidden death trait. Going to be revealed soon. It's actually Miami prospect. Really liking this one here. Speed catching. He's looking nice. He's looking really nice. My, let's, let's keep him in mind, all right? Let's just keep him right there. Jatavian Sanders also there in the room as the third tight end. Uh, what about the offensive line? Is a win here as a starter at left tackle with Charles Jagusa? And Jesse Warner. Let's check out Charles uh, Jagusa with a hidden death trait. Interestingly enough, he does have a very good face scan, actually. Let's just put that out there. Isaiah Wynn, star death trait, 30 years old, 89 rated, looking solid. Um, really, really good player. Longtime New England uh, player. Left guard Clark Barrington, 25 85, solid at guard. Uh, the center, David Andrews, who's been with uh, the Patriots for ages, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just go back and check that. It only goes back to 2018 here, but yeah. Uh, right guard, Cole Strange, out of the 2022 draft. Uh, Ten Chattanooga is the college of this one. He was actually... Uh, he was uh, uh, touted to go in the third round, and he was picked in the first round by Bill Belichick, which was a little bit of a weird uh decision yeah many people were just looking at that and wonder but yeah he's been here 82 decent player right tackles trent brown 
87 rated. So we have a, an offensive line that is not bad by any means, but you know, it could be a little bit better, of course. Certain positions could definitely be changed up a little bit. Defense, Sydney Sims, 25 years old, 87. Behind him were Sean Amos as the backup at left edge. Then uh, we've got right edge, uh, Trey Hendrickson, formerly uh, a Bengal, if I remember this one correctly. Yes, also 2024. The change here, Jalen Murray is uh, the backup on right edge. D tackles, Christian Barmore, 95 rated. Trevor Peoples, 81. Zavin Hardy, a rookie, 76 rated. And Andrew, uh, what is that? What is that last name? Deep Pepe, Deep Pappy, Deep Pepe, whatever. Uh, we're not going to be seeing him. Barmore and Peoples are going to be the D tackles. Barmore definitely can be taken seriously. 95 rated, 27. And just look at the strength, the block shedding, the tackle. Those are dangerous attributes for a D tackle. Left outside linebacker Dylan Brooks, 23, 82 rated, looking good. Cameron Thomas. Mid linebacker Chad Muma, 2786. Juwan Bentley behind him, 30 years old at 84 rated. Joe McLeod at 25 and 74. Right outside linebacker Josh Uchi, 27 and 86. Then we've got Joey Sandler and Denario Douglas. Cornerback Joey Porter Jr., 25 years old, 85 rated. Looking, looking solid, right? It's good, good speed, man coverage, acceleration, agility. Important attributes for corner, so that is a good one. Chidoui Awuzi, a little bit of an older player. Same, Amani Orowarie, but both of these are actually uh, really good uh, in their respective categories. So a uh, decent quarterback room, I would say. TJ Kitchens and Danny Edwards also here. Uh, no truly elite player, but just solid players is what I would say. Free safety, Akeem Dent, 25-81 behind him. Isaiah Craig, 23-72. Uh, looking at the stats, of course, because that is what's important here. He does have good speed, zone coverage, and acceleration, which means he's going to be zipping and zapping all across the field. But overall, of course, is he really going to be super dangerous? I don't think so. Strong safety, Carl Duggar. This is a <laughs> more dangerous player. 30 years old, 90 overall, and a lot, a lot of dangerous attributes. The hit power is nasty with a pursuit. Combine that, you know, with the player recognition and the acceleration and speed just means he's going to be running you down. And if he gets to you, he's going to be hitting you hard. D, D Joshua Stewart, yeah, 66 rated. Uh, kicker is Greg Kendrick and the punter is Mitch Wisniewski. So there we go. We now know who we're going to be playing. Looking at the overalls, uh, 85, 87, 85. Again, we are going to be have to be considered favorites in this game. And uh, we're going to be playing that way as well. Defensive game plan. We are going to be going uh, and defending the short passing. Uh, because uh, Mac Jones is going to be staying in the pocket. Not a lot of passing is going to be happening. Uh, not a lot of running uh, from his uh, side. So uh, I do think that the short pass is really the sweet spot that we've sort of uh, worked upon very well this season. Left edge. We're going to be going for the starter. Right edge going to be going for splits. D-tackle. Going to be going for the splits. Left outside linebacker, going to be going for the starter. I want to have uh, Adam Abore training a little bit more. The mid linebacker is going to be going for splits. Right outside, splits, uh, corners, and everybody else going to be going with the splits. Just want to focus on those really young players. Give them an experience boost as much as I can. We're going to be focusing on the run game. I don't even care who we're going to be facing. Um, that is just going to be the way we will try and... Uh, just impose our style of play onto the opposing team. Everybody is uh, going to be going with a split training. Left tackle, Skoronsky splits. Uh, Tyler Smith going to be going with splits. Patterson split for now. Uh, Carmen, I will go with starter. And right tackle, Maui Goa going to be going with a starter as well. All right. I think we have set all of that. Let's look at the team profile. We're going to be going with the weekly game plan here. Uh, I do want to sack him five times. That is definitely uh, definitely the target here. Uh, 24 points or less. Uh, let's try 300 offensive yards. Win by 70 plus points. Now that is an aggressive approach. We're going to win the turnover battle. Just think that is a little bit more realistic here. Defensive training results are in. We can see the starters did get, uh, did get more uh, experience points than the backup players here because we focused on them. Adam Roy, same thing. McCutcheon also getting some more uh, Muhammad because they are focused players. So that just makes 
perfect sense that they are getting more experience points. Uh, we're looking at the injury column here and I don't see anything listed here, which is absolutely great. We're now going to be upgrading the players. There's not much more to take care of this week before we head into the game. Jared Patterson, our starting center. Really, really like him a lot. Uh, he's just developing so nicely and he's he's exactly what I was looking for when I drafted him. Uh, I, I was looking for a tough, strong, solid center to protect the quarterback. And that is exactly what we got with this great player. Super happy to have him. Also super happy that uh, we got him uh, in, in the draft and that we also gave him a long-term deal. He will be with us until he grows old and happily. All right, power rusher for Siaki Ike. Uh, again, he's going up slightly with a buff here. He's 81 base. If he does improve more, if he approaches the 85 mark without the buffs, then I do think I'll keep him around. Otherwise, I'm not so sure. Um, some more power for uh, Jackson Carmen. Really, really like him as a backup. 26 and 83. Um, you know, at this position, he really gets to play quite often. Siaki Ike doesn't get a lot of snaps, so we can go for a rookie right there and develop him in peace and quiet. Gonna uh, put some more slot uh, capabilities into Malik Muhammad here with awareness and man coverage coming along nicely the cornerback and with that said and done guys we are now going to be heading into the game against the new england patriots hard rock stadium gonna be home for us and for this game monday night prime time new england patriots versus uh, the miami dolphins <laughs> uh, the towel by mac jones was just going crazy in his crotch right there talia tagavalua our Franchise quarterback, long-term deal. Bijan Robinson, our franchise running back, long-term deal. I'm so happy that we got these two sorted out this season. And uh, there we go. The Patriots are going to be going with the away uniform. Very clean look with the silver helmets. A classic. We're going with the alternate home uniform uh, for the 2022 season. With the all turquoise. Really like in that one everybody's warming up i think we are ready to go we're really fired up to get going and uh, they are immediately on the board with a field goal but uh yeah we are not gonna dwell on that too much we're gonna try and uh, get going immediately bijan robinson there's a flag that's gonna be holding i just know it what a way to start a game holding there we go Jared Patterson, man, I was just speaking of you so highly. And you do me dirty. Why do you do that? Why do you have to do that, man? That is... That is not good. All right, we're going to go with this one here. A little bit complicated uh, routes, it looks like. But I'm going to be going with Bo Collins. Maybe Jalen Waddle. If he does get free, uh, he is going to be uh, very good. He didn't get free, spoiler alert. But it uh, doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's go with the mesh spot here. Just going to be moving forward. Can we do something here to sort of exploit that a little bit? Let's let's try and mix it up with an inside zone run. Bijan Robinson going inside. Shove. Taken down. Number 48 catches up. That's Chad Muma. Third and seven. All right. We're not too bad. We're not too far away from where we need to be. And uh, did get 13 yards. I mean could be doing way worse big question is this going to be bad now we're going to be going with the four verticals looking for deandre swift and he will have to you know get those seven yards for us and there we go oh he doesn't get it oh he doesn't get it. he only gets three yards next gen stats are in all right let's take a look at this one here the coverage is really good pursuit speed coming across there's no way no way DeAndre Swift is going to be escaping here, but, you know, I'm not really too bothered by that. I'm going to tell you what, we're going to go with a wide drag. A lot of DeAndre Swift at the moment. Michael Mayer is going to be my target. I think that uh, we can, uh, you know, if I can get him, we can get the first down. There we go. 
if you want to be champions, you have to play like champions. This is uh, this is my line of thought right there. So there we go. Caught. Bam. There we go. Couldn't stop us. They couldn't stop us. Uh, here we go. DeAndre Swift, a left-hand side run. Can I just check something here? Do we have an injury? Nope. Why is Bijan not playing? Did I switch something up in the depth chart, maybe? Is this my fault? Bijan is still the starter here. But I think, yes, I think I switched it up a little bit. Going with the third running back. Yeah, I went for Swift here. Power halfback is Bijan Robinson again. Um, but uh, just wanted to give uh, DeAndre a little bit more game time, right? Because he's he's a good, very, very good wide receiver. Ah, <laughs> running back, sorry. So it would really be bad to not use him appropriately. Uh, second and six, so they're setting up super tight. Defense is really often quite tricky uh, with the Patriots. They have been a crucible of us. Because we've played them so often in this uh, in this franchise series, and uh, we've really had quite a lot of trouble handling them, getting wins against them. So I'll be looking for uh, I don't know who I'm going to be looking for. There we go, this one, Jalen Waddle. Just uh, I decided to decide this on the go. Does that make sense? All right, quarter comes to an end. Mac Jones passing yards, Talia are equal in this Monday night primetime game, which is pretty cool. Really liking those small additions, just adds a little bit of flair. Let's go, Bijan. 63, oh, and we are stopped quite early, two yards only. I feel like we will have some problems here with uh, the uh, with those run plays. Those are going to be tricky. Which one do we go for? Let's go for a bench switch. You know, just pick up some yards. Bo Collins would be great, but I think I'm going to be going with Michael Mayer. And there we go. Bo Collins gets a beautiful first down at the three-yard line. Talia floating that ball. I mean, I did go for a bullet pass. I really didn't feel that bullety. But our offensive uh, line really holding the defenders at bay. Number 39 does catch up uh, with uh, with Bo Collins right there. That was a great play. That was a really great play. We're going to be going with an inside zone left-hand side curve with uh, Bijan Robinson here. Don't really feel like we should uh, switch this up too much. Let's see if we can get a few yards this way. And there we go. Oh, Jesus, man. They are really hard uh, on the hold right there. Injury for Christian Barmore. So the clock is stopped, and we only get a yard on that one. This is uh, this is one I think I can go for a stick here. I think I can go with Waddle. Wow, that was a hard hit. I did I did go for uh, Jamar Chase. Well, that felt aggressive. Jesus, man, what a hard hit! All right. Now nah, I don't think that we can fool them with a with a pass play here. So we're going to be going with this, a, uh, a run with Bijan, and he just go through. Well done, man. Well done to the former Texas Longhorn right there. And it's a Dolphins fight song in the background. I know I'm saying this quite often now, but do enter YouTube. Just put the Dolphins fight song in there. And then just crank up the volume and have a good time. It's just so fun. There we go. Can we hold them? Yes, we can. That was well done. 2 minutes 54 on the game clock in the second quarter. Let's give him some Bijan love right there. All right. Oh, man. Number 72 was coming around the corner. That was Sims. And I uh, just saw him coming and uh, decided I had to go to the left. That was a quick escape right there. Hmm. DJ Johnson not getting into contact there. Third and eight. And uh, I wouldn't really want to give him the, the, the ball back straight away, but they have a super tight defensive uh, setup. 
here. Ah, that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. Who would have been free? Who would have been free on that one? The coverage is really good. Mayor probably right now. Should have played a little bit sooner. Bo Collins could have probably sent him a long one. But coverage was there for everyone. Pressure was coming. So we're going to have to punt with Jack Fox. That was over quickly. 20 seconds and the ball is back with Mac Jones. Jack Fox punting. Malik Muhammad. There we go. Yeah, what a great tackle here by the rookie. We brought him in, traded Keely Ringo, and they're on the board with a, with another field goal. All right, one minute twenty eight. Let's uh, try and get back. Uh... There we go. Let's try and get back the momentum here. I tried to go for the shove here, but number eight clamps the hands around Michael Mayer and just pulls it back. We still get a solid 20 yards or something. Ball was out quickly. Number eight, never, never giving up. That's uh Is it the one or Deshaun Bentley? I don't know. Never remember that one. Okay, so out level's not really feeling good. Let's try this shock option. Do I trust Waddle on this one? Nah. We're going to go something else. We're going to go with... Uh, let's go with this one here. Michael Mayer or DeAndre Swift. Oh, oh, that was actually very good. DeAndre Swift, I thought he was going to be taken down immediately because he was somehow weirdly slowing down. But then he managed to, you know, amp up the speed a little bit. Shed a tackle. That was really good. That was really good, actually. Mesh spot. Let's set up this way. We're going to be going with the inside zone. Slight curve left-hand side with Bijan here. A little bit of stiff arming. Seven se oh, they are trying to get me to not look at the clock here. All right. 52-yard field goal. Not liking it. Not liking it at all. I want to have a quick out here. So let's try the play action crossers. We're going to be going with Michael Mayer. Maybe Jamar Chase. Six seconds. Not a lot of time. We will be going into halftime as uh, the score leader. And there we go. We're immediately going to call a timeout. We're at the 20-yard line. One second. And we're going to be going for a field goal here, of course. 37 yards. We did knock off a few yards off of that one. Slight winds coming towards the right. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was... <laughs> sneaking in, at, in, as they say. All right. Second half. Let's stop it. All right. Not happening. They take the lead for the first time. And I told you, the Patriots are bastards. They're really hard. Such a such a nasty team. I don't know why I always struggle against them. But they just have really a very solid uh, setup up front. Okay, and then they've got a good quarterback. Decent enough wide receivers. And uh, if you combine all of that... Jalen Waddle push back. Third and four. We only get four yards. Not too crazy about that one, to be honest. We're gonna be bum rushed here. I just know it. Can we exploit that? Can we put a can we put a runner behind them? Maybe the verticals. Maybe I can get Jamar Chase. It does look like he should be getting in there. And there we go. Oh the heels. Number 24 does get the heels of Jamar Chase, tripping him up here. That was a beautiful, beautiful throw. Great catch as well. Good route. Number 24. I think it's Barmore. Could be mistaken. All right. Do I want to go to the outside? I don't know. 95 Mike, right hand side. Let's try this one here. Nine seconds to go. 
Uh, we're going to be fighting forwards here. Eight yards with Bijan. Halfback zone, left hand side curve. Do we have a better one up our sleeves? Yeah, why not go with a bench switch here? You know, we've got Jamar Chase, we've got Michael Mayer. Going to be focusing on that left hand side right there. Oh, good catch and good shove on number 18. That was actually very good. Let's go with another run here. Uh, try to get that underway before we go into the final quarter. Let us... Let's give this a little bit of a thinker here right now, shall we? All right, going into the final fourth uh, of uh, this game, we have to decide what we're going to be doing. I was just trying to... Thank you. Now, five minutes is what we have. If we have a quick touchdown, uh, that could probably mean uh, that uh, the Patriots do get the ball again, of course, that they do get back at us and that we have some more time to really go at them. Uh, definitely tricky. But uh, I think it's better to go quickly right now instead of, uh, you know, wasting time. They do have good linebacking players and a very solid defensive line right there. The big question is, are they super elite? Are they going to stop us? I don't know yet. I really don't know. The Patriots games have always been super hard and super unpredictable. Take a look at that. Bijan is really swarmed right here. We're going to have to drag him apart. Jamar Chase would be a very good option. Looking, at, looking for Johnson, looking for Mayer. Yeah, there we go. Michael Mayer, and we're going to be shoving our way into the end zone, stepping inside. He is pushed back outside, but uh, Michael Mayer does get another touchdown for the Dolphins at home. He just got enough distance on his defender right there. I think it's Hendrickson, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we have to hope that defense holds him. This is Derek Stingley, number 11. Come on, D. And defense holds him. That is awesome. Best case scenario right there. 37. We're not that far back. Going to be going with Bijan here. Left hand side. And this defensive lineman, they are not, they're not opening up. Second and eight. Second and eight. They are not opening up on the left side. I don't know why, but we're really having problems pushing our way through here. Just take a look here. Third and six. God damn it, guys. Let's go to the slip screen. Ah, oh, they're completely sitting up over there. Can I exploit that, please? I'm gonna go with the four verticals. Gonna be looking for Mayor, but DeAndre Swift, of course, is gonna be a backup for me here. And there we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, no, not backwards, dude. Come on, man. Fourth and six. Oh, I hate that. Absolutely hate that. Oh, what do we do now? Fourth and six. This is too far. We have to punt. We have to punt and hope that our defense holds them. Otherwise, we're going to lose that freaking game, man. All right, Jack Fox. Let's spot them super far back. That is a perfect kick. Malik Muhammad. Ah, it's going to go into the end zone. So they're going to be starting at the 20. Come on, defense. Please give me that. Ah, we don't get it. All right. So we have to actually really go out of them here. One minute and four seconds is what we have. Come on, guys. There we go. Out of bounds is what we're going to be doing. 57 seconds. Tyler Bass, if we can get him into, into range, I do have a good feeling about this, but I don't want to draw the game. I really don't want to draw the game. Drawing games against uh, the Patriots has always been horrible. Uh, because over time, you just never know what's going to happen. There we go. Yeah, that was a super bad throw right there. Dolphins corner. Let's go with this one here. 
I'm not feeling confident. I'm not feeling confident at the moment. Uh, it is weird, but those... Uh, oh, no! And I'm sacked. Yeah, this is actually really painful at the moment. Why are we struggling so bad? Why are we struggling so bad? Really, really horrible. There we go. How far can we go? All right, 20 seconds on the clock. We're up to the 30 yard line. Michael Mayer doing his thing. Let's set up an inside run. But there's, they're again setting up super tight. Come on, man. That is a little bit annoying. Got to go with the tight end corner. Got to be looking for Jalen Waddle here. All right, 16 seconds. 94 will. Let's, let's see. Yes. Spot, double cross. We're gonna go the mesh post here. Let's try and really get them get them confused here. Michael Mayer is a good option. Uh, we've got uh, Jalen Waddle, who's gonna be my uh, main focus. Oh damn it! Throw that fucking ball, man! God damn it! What was Talia doing, man? Jesus, man, we're going backwards. Good Lord. I was pressing the button. I don't know what he was doing, but he wasn't go doing what I wanted him to do. All right, let's try and mix it up here. We still have two timeouts. I want to get forward a little bit more. Eight seconds. Let's immediately call the timer. God damn it. Three seconds. We have to go for a field goal. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. 52 yards. They're going to ice us. I just know it. Yeah, fucking hell. Other bass. Man, those Patriots. Jesus, man. Let's go with this. It is perfect, but is it going to be enough? It is. All right. 2020, we draw the game. What a horrible, horrible game we're having. Really, really bad. Patriots, man. It's just so weird. It is really so weird. Ah, can't get past them. Second and six. Come on, guys. Let us, let's, let's at least pretend to be champions here, or shall we? Wow, what a sack by Barmore. He was just breaking through here, third and four. Guys, don't do this to me. God freaking hell. Seriously, man. Gonna be going towards the right hand side here. Four yards. Bijan Robinson. Leading rush leader. Oh, f oh Jesus. Fourth inches. All right. I absolutely underestimated this defense. And again, it just goes to show you can't put anything, anything on stats. It just doesn't work that way. I love this about Madden. I really do. Even if I'm yelling and cussing a lot right now, but I really love this. It comes down to the formation. It comes down to the way that the team plays. It comes down to the, to the individual attributes of the individual players. And if there's... And then there's always the momentum that's happening, you know? If there's players that are really strong uh, in certain areas, and Barmore, I'm sure he's putting a lot of pressure on the Patterson causing mistakes so 
Oh, let's shed a tackle here. Let's shed another one. All right, we pick up a first down. That was important. And this is Bijan. This is what I need of him. This is exactly what I need of him. I need him to bully defenses. I need him to power through there, to make them question themselves. To make them ask themselves, what are, what are we doing here? Number 55, Josh Uchi. Grabs Bijan and brings him down. I'm really, really self-aware of going for uh, going for a pass play here. Really, really thinking about those very hard at the moment. Curved run, those usually work super well. The formation looks good. Number 63, go for the shove, man. Ah, pushing forward. Number 22, in the end, locking onto Bijan right there. Do I go for trail shake? I'm looking for one of those super tight runs here. Just want to confuse them a little bit. But we're going to go with this one here. I just, there's a gap. There's a gap. And I think we can or we should be able to exploit it. Yes, we can. 1 minute 26 is what we have on the clock. Oh, guys, I'm really excited. I'm sure you can tell by all of my yelling and uh, all of the emotion in here. But, yeah, this is what I do. This is this is the way I play. And uh, I'm going to go with Bijan again. Let's go. Ah, pull back here. Power O. 50 seconds. No, that's horrible. That is horrible. We're going to go the 95 mic. Left hand side. Let's adjust a little bit here. Just want to drag forward. We still have two timeouts left. Going to go straight up the gut. There we go. We get the first down. That was important. Halfback slam. 27 yards. We're going to call a timeout now. 18 seconds is what we have on the clock. Uh, we are going to be going with a mesh spot now, I think. Mayor Waddle Collins. One of you guys is going to have to be the catcher here. I would love to go out of bounds. And he is brought down. Dude, can you just get away from him? I have zero timeouts left. I have 11 seconds. Let's go with the Dolphins white corner. Let's just... Let's go for one attempt to be aggressive. Probably, probably the slants are good. Going to be going with Swift. Slapped away. Third and five. Now can go for one more pass play before time is out. Southeast corner. Let's try this. It, the coverage is there. It's not going to work because the coverage is there. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try this one. Let's try and confuse him. Jamar Chase. Do we get him into the backfield? And that is a freaking fucking sack. And as always, guys, it is the Patriots that are really, really messing with me and my voice and my everything. Jesus, man, what a game. Talia had a great game. Can't really fault him. 73% completion rate, scored a touchdown, 231 yards. That was really good. The run play was also good. 104 yards for Bijan Robinson, one touchdown. 4.7 on average. That was good. Receiving side. Michael Mayer, 119. Leading. One touchdown. Tyler Boyd got in. Zimmer Worthy. Alec Pierce. Bo Collins. I don't know, man. By all rights, we should have won the game. And it was... It was down to me. Chad Boomer, 13 freaking tackles. Solo tackle leader. It's Malik Muhammad and Gerald McCutcheon. Tackles for loss. Josh Uchi. Yeah, I know. Sacks. Two by Josh Uchi, man. Jesus Christ. One by Christian Barton. We didn't get one. We did not get one. Zero interceptions on the game.
Oh lord, guys. All right, 10, 0, oh, and 1. At least we still have a chance to get a perfect season done in this season here. It is a tie with the New England Patriots at home, and we should have really put this to bed. 97 offense versus 87 defense. Our defense 91 versus 85. We couldn't hold them. We could not contain them. So, uh, yeah, as always, Patriots proved to be really, really tricky. Um, we still have a chance for a perfect season. That is something that still gives me hope. Going to be cutting the episode here. Did enough yelling, screaming and, uh, you know, frustration uh, in in this one here. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. Can only apologize for that one. Uh, but, yeah, that's just me. I really, really, uh, yeah, just emotional and really enjoying this. Really feeling for the team here. Just really excited. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. And, uh, uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Bye.